Hello, Justin here again, and in this lesson we're going to be checking out how to add vibrato to a bend. Now lots and lots of people seem to struggle with this. It's actually relatively simple when you know the trick, and the trick is to let the string do the work. Now, what I mean by this is, if um, all of my bending stuff so far I've been using this note D, so I'm going to stay on that for the time being, that's uh, third finger, uh, third string, seventh fret. Um, once you've got a bend going, and, and I'm going to be using a tone bend for this little exercise now, there's quite a lot of pressure on the string trying to push the string back down to its natural place. You're having to use quite a lot of effort to get that note bent up. Making sure, of course, that you're using a good bending technique here. If you haven't got a good bending technique already, you're not going to be able to put the vibrato on it. So if you're still trying to do your bends with your fingers straight and without your thumb over and without using the pivot point, you're, you're probably not going to be able to do a good bend with vibrato. So, um, uh, if you're one of those guys, go back and learn to bend properly first, and then come back and have a look at, a look at this lesson. So, um, as you bend up, you've got all of this pressure, the string pressing down. Now, the trick with adding vibrato to a bend is to first of all make sure that you get the bend in tune and stop. So, uh, you might, if you've watched my other vibrato series, you'll notice that I talk about hitting the note and then gradually opening up the vibrato. And this is quite important with a bend as well because you need to get the bend in tune before you get the vibrato on. Otherwise it can kind of sound like to the listener that you never actually reached the note that you were trying to bend to. So, you bend up to the note first. Then what you do is you relax your fingers ever so slightly, relax the pressure, let the, let the force of the string push your finger down a little bit and then press it back up. And it's worth doing this really slowly first. So we're going to go to a close-up. I'm just going to bend the note up and then relax my finger a little bit so it comes back down and then push it back up to the correct pitch. Let it come down a bit and back up to the, next, to the correct pitch. And each time you're just going from here, let it come down, back up, come down, back up. And you don't try and pull the string down. You just let the string kind of go back to where it wants to go. Don't fight the pressure of the string. Just relax it, push it back up. Relax it, push it back up. Relax it, push it back up. And if you can get used to doing that nice and slowly and you get the feel for it, then starting to do it faster becomes a lot easier. So let's go and have a look at a close-up of this and uh, hopefully we'll sort your uh, bending vibrato out. So here we go. We're starting with our regular note here, which is the note D, seventh fret, third string, third finger. Now we're going to start by bending that up a tone. So um, if you're not sure about your uh, bending technique anyway, you might want to check it just first. So that nicely in pitch. Now once you've got the bend up like this, now what you're going to try and do is let the string push your finger down a little bit and then push it back up to the same pitch. Let the string kind of go back to where it wants and then push it back up. Now I'm just going to do that nice and slow. Relax, push it back up. Relax, push it back up. Relax, push it back up. Now you're not relaxing it right back to the beginning, right down to kind of the base, you're just relaxing it a little bit. Trying to get a consistent amount of, of, of uh, relaxation and pressing it back up and trying to get it right back to the same pitch each time. Once you've got that down, you've got that feeling, so I'd probably practice that for a bit first. If you're new to bending with vibrato, you probably want to give that a week or two's practice, like five, ten minutes a day. Once you've got that idea, then you can start experimenting with the intensity or the speed of the vibrato. You can see now, next wobbling around a little bit, still keeping my good grip, still keeping my pivot point like we did for the bends. Or a bit slower. get really crazy with this stuff. You can also, a, a, a nice trick is bending it right up, back down, back up, and then putting a vibrato. <laughs> Takes quite a lot of control. Get the note up. A little, little bit sharp that time for me, actually, that was a bit naughty, but... Uh, and then getting your vibrato good. Slow. faster. <laughs> Quite a tricky one to try and get the vibrato happening all of the way down, but 
again experiment just like I talked about before emulation experimentation and ease emulating people's bends that you like nice little dip there you can do that sort of stuff there's all sorts of things you can do experimenting like I was just trying to do then trying to get the vibrato to happen all the way down the note You know, you can go crazy with these things. It's just really, it's quite good fun. Remember, it has to be easy. But if you've got your bending technique and you've got your pivot point and your thumb over, then you shouldn't find it too difficult at all. Now, the, the other kind of things that you need to know about this one, first of all, if you're going to do any of this sort of stuff with the first finger, then you tend to pull down with that. Not to, If you try and push up with your first finger, it's pretty difficult. So you tend to... Um, so this time you're pulling the string down and again letting the string relax back to where it wants to go which in this case is physically up and then pushing it back again and of course the same would apply if you were doing a big bend like on a you know quite low down um, if you're bending this here this note D which is fifth fret fifth string third finger up to E to be relax, push it back, relax, push it back. So quite a good trick, but remember on those thicker strings, you're not likely to do that a lot, so you don't have to practice that. The the oh, you don't have to practice it. You don't have to practice it as much. Um, the one to practice I think is definitely your third finger. I don't even bother practicing it with my little finger because I don't really think bending with a little finger works and I don't know of really any pro guitar players that do a lot of bending with a little finger. Uh, might be a couple of the rock guys but very 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 few of them so I wouldn't worry about doing that. Very rare to bend with the second finger as well so it's, it's possible. Clapton does it a little bit so um, you might want to practice doing that. I don't usually do bends with the second finger so you may need, if you're doing your first finger you're going to pull up and then add your vibrato. Most common bending with the third finger. If you're new to this sort of stuff, I would just recommend practicing getting your bend with the third finger and then let it relax and push it back up. Make sure you practice other parts of the guitar neck, of course, as well. So that's given you a bit of a look at how to apply vibrato to a bend. Of course, the same rules apply that we talked about with the basic vibrato, making sure, of course, that you practice it all around the neck, because in each different part of the guitar neck, it's going to feel a little different. So you don't want to just try it in the one spot, practice it a lot. When, as you're practicing it, you try and maybe get it right in the one place first so you've got the right feeling, and then be moving it right up, as far up as you can go, and right down as low as you can go, which is probably second or third fret. You're not probably going to try and do big bends in the first fret unless you've got fingers of steel or your Stevie Ray Vaughan or something like that, you know. Um, so uh, I think that's uh, probably enough for you to get going on that. Uh, if you've got any questions, check out the forum, of course. Uh, look for the right uh, TE009 area of the forum, and... Uh, We'll get your questions answered there. I hope that helps, and uh, see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>